Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Gertrude Tiff and tonight we are looking at a Thompson Brother um, from the Glen Ord Distillery. It was um, distilled in 2010, uh, 12 years old, bottled at 53.2% ABV and um, if you're a subscriber you would have noticed that I keep on digging in the high ABV whiskies trying to find the best high ABV whiskies and um, quite successful I might add Glen um my previous video and you can go find it at my homepage as well as the Edra Dower 12 year old car strength oh both are just fantastic whiskies. So trying to keep the theme of high ABV whiskies going. And um, yeah, the first came to my knowledge about, uh, well, to the end of last year with the online Scotch Whiskey Awards. They had a Thompson Brother um, bottle there. And um, I did try to get some samples. I did uh, find one of them, loved it, but it was not bowled over with it. And with this one, um, well, it is from the Glen Ord Distillery, bottled by the Thompson Brothers. Well, let me give you some more information. They say the Thompson's Brother Glen Ord 2010 is a single malt scotch whiskey, selected and distributed by Legast, it's a French company, and reserved for the French market. Yeah, I am a South African in Belgium, and I got my hands on a wee sample of that one. And of course, um, the Glen Ord Distillery is located in, well, Rochshire, um, in the Scottish Highland. Now, 12 years old, the whiskey was first aged in um, February of 2010, after 12 years aging, it was uh, racked in 2022 of April, and there is 120 bottles available. So if you want one, you're going to look at the French website where I got this from. It's still available, strangely enough. Um, I think might be that not a lot of people know about it, and um, maybe they just would bypass this bottle because um, of the obscurity of it. But um, yeah, Glenord, um, Singleton, uh, they do produce that. Now that's a whiskey that you see at every duty-free shop in the world. Singleton, I always bypass them, didn't know much about them. So yeah, there's going to be, well, maybe a distant cousin from that color-wise. Um, it's got a light golden color. It is 12 years old, so um, did not pick up a lot of color. Comes from the ex bourbon course. So I'm looking forward to that nice apple notes, that friendly summer in the glass type of notes. And um, I hope I'm not disappointed. So on the nose, cheers. And definitely not disappointed. That fresh fruit, that little peachy note, apples, apple cider, red apples. It's a little perfumey. And of course, with that high ABV, it's a little bit of a tingling in the nose. But pleasant. It reminds me a little bit of the Orchard House Compass Box. It's lovely, friendly notes. It is a Highland whiskey. It also reminds me a little bit of the Glen Caddams series. Well, the whole range of them, except the um, no sherry added. So lovely, light, friendly, sweet, um, apple note, maybe a little hint of a pear note. On the taste, cheers. Small sips. Mm. That fruity component is there, that apple notes is there, the little peach note, a little bit of a dried peach note. It's sweet, it's vanilla coming through. Um, oh, it is really nice. Even at that high ABV, I don't really feel the need to add water to this one. Small sips makes me happy. Um, I'm not thinking to see how much I can drink of it. This one can last you a whole evening. 
It is really nice and friendly. A little oakiness that comes on the nose, just a hint of that. But not on the taste, just want to make sure. Mm. Oh, this is dangerous. It's lovely and it's sweet. A little bit bigger sip now. I can feel the heat building up. I can feel the heat going right down to the stomach. It is a hot one. But it is not um, youthful. You might think that um, 12 years with a high ABV can give you a little bit of a youthful note. I didn't get any of that. Didn't get any of the tannins. There's no bitter notes. It's just lovely, sweet, friendly, apple and that vanilla coming out. They're definitely not a complex one. I get those notes. And that is what I get out of it. There's nothing from the nose to the taste. It doesn't change much. It gives you that same lovely notes. And it's not pretending to be something else. Uh, and that is what I like about this whiskey. Just give it one more try. Mm. It is just lovely. Sweet, uncomplex, unapologetic, lovely fantastic dram and something that I would definitely like to buy in the future. Now, price-wise, 90 euros for this bottle. It is still available um, at the, well, the online shop where I buy most of my sample nowadays. Reasonable price. Try it before you buy it. This is not the advert. I'm not mentioning names, um, but I just enjoy the company. I just ordered some nice, great, fantastic Fantastic samples that I can try in the future. So that is me on the Thompson Brothers Glen Ord. Now, I'm thinking I need to get my hands on a Singleton and see what the fuss is about. Now, if they are creating something from Glen Ord and they have made something that's really nice, I need to find out more about this distillery. Never really heard about it until I saw this sample. So look forward, like, share and subscribe. And um, maybe soon we will talk about Singleton as well. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.